Hello friends, welcome back to the Telecom Talk Show. My name is Tanay Singh Thakur and joining us today is again Mr. Shri Kapadi, is the Telecom Analyst for Telecom Talk. Shri, welcome to you on the show. Shri, today we are talking about, you know, something that Vodafone Idea has been ignoring for a bit of time. And we are talking about Vodafone Idea's Wi-Fi calling services. Now, people who are aware of this already know that the telco has not really announced anything major in this area for the last few months or maybe uh, more than a year now. So, you know, I'd just like to get your thoughts on why do you think Vodafone Idea is like ignoring the Wi-Fi calling services? Uh, uh, Tanay, uh, thanks for the invite again. But uh, coming to your question, uh, I don't think that they are purposefully ignoring something. Uh, they may have a phased plan or something. If you look at it, they have rolled out Wi-Fi in 11 of their priority circles. But surprisingly, Kerala, which is the number one priority circle, is missing. And also most of the South cities are missing. And seven smartphones bands, as of now, support the Wi-Fi. So to put forward, what, what exactly is Wi-Fi? Uh, not all places uh, the cellular network will be reaching. Let us say uh, I'm in the deep of uh, middle of a home like uh, thick walls and uh, network cannot penetrate into the walls. Uh, I cannot comfortably make a voice call or uh, communicate this, using the cellular network. But I have a 100 Mbps, whatever uh, broadband connection, which offers me a good connectivity. In such instances, uh, my phone or the device, if it is supporting Wi-Fi along with the network, will latch on to the uh, Wi-Fi of the home broadband, use the internet, and using the back end of the IMS deployed by the teleco, uh, any customer can uh, use the voice services by using the Wi-Fi service. This is the primary functionality of a Wi-Fi. So let us say in your home, there is no Wi-Fi, uh, there is no cellular signal connectivity in your home. Uh, and uh, internet is uh, good in your home using broadband. You can avail the service so that uh, customers will get a extraordinary or a pleasant voice calling experience. That is the main purpose of this Wi-Fi technology. So it runs on the uh, same technology, IMS, which is deployed for Vaulty as well. And a customer needs to have a compatible Vaulty headset along with a SIM, Vaulty SIM, like 4G activated uh, Vaulty SIM. And so for them to use the Wi-Fi service. I think Vodafone is already rolling out Vaulty. As we all know, like in some circles, Vaulty is there. Some circles, Vaulty is not there. So... It runs on the back end of uh, the Wi-Fi runs on the back end of Vault itself. So there is no reason uh, for us to discuss or say that they're purposefully ignoring the uh, Wi-Fi rollout or something. Uh, it, but we cannot speculate any major reason that this is the reason they are ignoring. But I feel that if they roll out Wi-Fi or if they would have rolled out Wi-Fi like throughout the all the 22 circles, uh, it would have uh, garnered a lot of uh, consu positive consumer sentiments is what I feel. Yeah, true that, uh, Sri. But you know what I really wonder is, you mentioned a point that uh, Wi-Fi calling services help you get better coverage experience, no? Right. Better indoor experience. Now, this is where I, I think, like, why it's surprising to me that Vodafone Idea is not really focusing in this area is that Vodafone Idea probably has the poorest uh, indoor calling experience or indoor data experience because, I mean, I'm quoting the data from uh, Open Signal, one of the data analytics company and uh, you know according to them geo and airtel are much better in this regard but vodafone idea is probably uh, in the worst position so now this is what actually amazes me why vodafone idea is not doing this i, I mean there could be a strategy behind it but you know what it is it's it's really confusing for me so and and you know what i really noticed when i went to their website was that in their priority circles none of the circles were from the southern india now now right. that now i'm mentioning that not because you know i noticed it first but because you know people in the social media are really complaining people in our community forum are really complaining that you know what of an idea why are you ignoring the south southern part of the country now i i don't know whether it's again a, a very strategic move from the company or anything now she is there a very big cost involved in upgrading or doing anything to just to roll out uh, Wi-Fi calling services for the telecom operators? Uh, no, Tanay, I don't think there is substantial capex involved uh, in rolling out this service. As far as I know, I don't think uh, it involves a lot of cost. 
But if you look at it, uh, I probably see one other aspect as well. Maybe it could be due to the integration of Vodafone Idea, uh, Vodafone and uh, Idea Cellular. So we are not sure if uh, the backend integration is really completed or not. Maybe that could be one reason why, if you look at it, Idea was uh, somewhat strong in AP, Kerala and uh, Karnataka, all those places. So maybe it could be, that could be one reason why uh, the rollout has not, not yet happened in the southern part is what I think. Now, Shri, do you think if Vodafone Idea is able to roll out Wi-Fi calling services across the country, would, would it make a difference in its subscriber base? Subscriber base? Uh, Tamil, I mean, do you think uh, it's a big enough factor for the company to add subscribers or retain them? First thing, any any sort of improvement in service would really uh, increase the customer experience for any subscriber. That is one major point. So this is an additional service which would give enhanced consumer experience as well as enhanced revenue to a teleco in the form of uh, customers, customer base. That is what I feel. Now, uh, Shri, there's also this point that, you know, a lot of smartphones don't really support Vodafone Ideas Wi-Fi calling services. Now, I don't know how frequently does the company update its website, but uh, I noticed that amongst from the Apple brands, the iPhone 14 series was entirely missing. Now, that is something a little surprising. I, I think there might be support for them, right? Because if it's there for iPhone 13, it should be there for iPhone 14. But But it's not updated on the website, right? Right, right. Uh, I think the la the latest one was iPhone 13 Pro Max or something. Yeah, true. And and guys, if you want to check out the devices which support Vodafone Ideas Wi-Fi calling services, you can go and check out Vodafone Ideas Wi-Fi calling page, Wi-Fi page, and the list of brands and their devices are mentioned over there. Now, Sri, have you ever experienced Wi-Fi calling from other operators such as Airtel or Jio? Yes, I have experienced on other operators, and it's it's seamless. Like, for example, say, uh, if I'm on a, a Wi-Fi, if I'm connected to Wi-Fi and I have made a voice call, it just connected to the Wi-Fi of my broadband. And let us say I'm moving out from my Wi-Fi zone. It seamlessly handshakes between the cellular network. But customers do need to note that if they are making a voice call on their broadband network, it will consume a little of their data, uh, like maybe some MBs or whatever, based on their call duration from their broadband data usage. But I think... So uh, it's seamless. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But, but she... Like in India, it's it's the best thing, no Wi-Fi calling services. If you are in a very poor network coverage zone, because most of the major ISPs now offer unlimited data. While it's not truly unlimited, the the data cap is still at three point three TB for most of the operators. So oh, right. So so I think you you will never get to worry about how much data you're consuming while calling or something right. like that. No? Right. Technically, you won't be even able to uh, consume the complete data only. True that. See, yeah. if, if you look at the consumer sentiments, okay, fine, I myself there, okay, the month one, I'll consume one TB or two TB. The second month, uh, I may consume one TB again. The third month, I I will not even have the energy even to consume it. Yeah. So uh, this, uh, the entire marketing or the game behind this unlimited, uh, like, I don't think it, it works for months or ages. It's hardly yeah. like, okay, if I'm a new customer, uh, my excitement will only last for one or two months or maybe six months. And what yeah. more will be left to download for you? <laughs> yeah. What will be there for you to download also? And where will you download? Yeah. Yeah. And even, so even, I, yeah, 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 Shri, continue. Yeah, you can go ahead. Yeah, you, uh, Shri, I think like even in the enterprise side of things, even if you're running a small business, I think if right. you've got broadband in your office, if you have three or four employees, then, you know, Wi-Fi calling services would make a big difference in your business, right? It's not just for the people sitting inside their homes, but it's also for the small stores or super stores, something like that, no? Right. It would uh, see why Wi-Fi will definitely complement the quality services. No doubt in yeah. that. But but I believe that, see, work from home uh, is like almost like people or companies are calling back to offices. Yeah, a lot of things is happening yeah. around that. Yeah. But I believe that uh, the if Vodafone might have enabled Wi-Fi during that phase itself, like uh, maybe in the initial days of the pa pandemic, it must have helped a lot of users who are inside their homes, like who are not even able to get proper voice calling. Or not. It might have helped. But right now, I don't know if it really will help someone or not because the teleco Vodafone itself will be having a lot of insights than what you or me might be having it. 
True they that. Yeah. 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 Right. So they they know very well. Okay, wh- where I'm deploying, why I'm deploying, where should I deploy, what should be my next move. They know very well more than us. Is what I feel. She, do you think uh, Wi-Fi calling would make a big difference inside uh, football stadiums, cricket stadiums? I don't. I don't think. I don't think it would make a big difference inside the stadiums and all because by default, if you look at it uh, now, as of now, if you look at the current trend, five G is being rolled out. The yeah. main purpose of five G is to cater cater for areas where there is large set of audience group. I yeah. think in that areas, five G or uh, voice over five G will take care of that. I don't think Wi Fi will be of any help in those spaces. Got it, Sri. So thank you so much for joining us today, Sri. Uh, again, it was a really fruitful conversation, and I hope everyone listening to it also enjoyed it. So thank you for joining us today, guys. Uh, we'll bring out more such videos in the near future. Do subscribe to our YouTube uh, channel and uh, follow us on our podcast platforms. Thank you.